hello student today we are going to solve another question from exercise of chapter motion and we are going to solve this question so read i am reading out this question a stone is thrown in a vertically upward direction with velocity of 5 meter per second a stone is thrown in a vertically upward direction with a velocity of 5 meter per second so initially when the ball thrown to the upward direction this way so initially ball thrown with how much velocity 5 meter per second 5 meter per second okay now let's continue the question if the acceleration of the stone during the motion of 10 meter per second square so what is the acceleration of the object which moving upward direction <coughs> acceleration is 10 meter per second square but remember when the object moves upward direction its velocity constantly decrease so deacceleration takes place means whatever acceleration you put here you remember you have to give a minus sign so here acceleration is given 10 meter per second square but since the object is moving upward direction its velocity decreasing means negative acceleration taking place so minus 10 meter per second square and we know that when object moves the maximum height its velocity reach zero so final velocity will be zero meter per second meter per second and from here to here distance we don't know here we have to find out what will be the height attained by the stone means from here to here this distance is height here and I have representing this one by small s how much time will it take to reach there and from here to here when it moves then for going from here to here how much time require and that time I am representing by t so this is the introduction of the mathematics of this question you see object moves with initial velocity 5 meter per second and when it reaches to the maximum height its velocity will be zero acceleration given 10 meter per second square because of object moving upward direction so negative acceleration taking place why because velocity constantly decreasing means deacceleration taking place therefore acceleration sign minus and from this point to this point we have taken this height by s and time we taken by t now we will give the introduction by statement so initially velocity representing a u it is 5 meter per second final velocity represented by p 0 meter per second acceleration is minus 10 meter per second square height means s we don't know and time taken to go from this point to this point this also we don't know we need to find out students already we have discussed kinematics have three important equation again I am writing here you see first v is equal to u plus a t we have proved by graphically 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एस इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस हाफ एट स्क्वायर एंड थर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन इज वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर इक्वल टू टू एस ओके नाउ यू सी यू हैव यू वी एंड ए सो इन दिस इक्वेशन यू वी एंड ए इज देयर एंड टी वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट सो टी विल कम आउट फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन सो वी आर अप्लाइंग equation of motion first one so by first equation of motion we can write v is equal to u plus at now we substitute the value v means 0 u means 5 plus a means minus 10 and t we need to find out now we will simplify this one 0 5 plus minus minus 10 t now minus 10 t i'm transferring here it will be positive 10 t is equal to 5 so t is equal to 5 by 10 1 by 2 is 0 0.5 and what is the unit of time second so here we have to we have able to find time now we have to find out s so now we have u we have v we have t and we need to find out s so if we apply this formula you see v we have u also we have acceleration also we have and s we don't know so one quantity we don't know so from this equation we can easily find out so if we apply the third equation of motion then we can easily find out here height so here i am writing applying third equation of motion what is the formula v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s v we got 0 u we got 5 2 into acceleration is minus 10 as we don't know so 0 square means 0 minus 25 2 times 20 this negative sign into s 0 minus 25 means minus 25 and minus equal to minus 20 into s now minus 25 this is multiply so if we transfer here means in the left hand side then it will be divided and what remain here s only now negative sign we can cancel now if we cancel it by 5 5 4 zero, 5 5 zero, 4 1 zero. so s is equal to we got 1.25 meter so this is the height attained by the object A stone is thrown in a, in a vertically upward direction with a velocity of 5 meter per second. With this velocity it has thrown and after attaining the maximum height this velocity will be 0 obviously. Acceleration given 10 meter per second square but negative acceleration because it is going against of motion. And height we have taken by S and T we have taken by T. Sorry time. This is very easy first of all you have, you have to put all the symbol according to their value and after that with relation any formula is there or not out of these three kinematics formula obviously one formula will be applied out of three so in the first case I have observed that u given v given a given and t you have to find out so u v a t what is the relation u v a t relation we will get in equation number one so we have applied equation number one in the second case we have u we have v we have s so, uh, s is not there so here uh, acceleration is there so v u acceleration 
and S. What is the relation? So it's third equation of motion. If we apply, then we can easily find out this S.